Uh, I now want to bring forth a friend who has, uh, well, he is deceptive in that his social style is of such. One can miss his seriousness and his commitment for the success is beyond argument. Uh, when we opened this Wall Street project and we talked about it, you gave us space at 40 Wall Street. Mm which was to make a statement about our having a presence there. Uh, and uh, he ran that in terms of reaching out and being inclusive, he's done that too. Uh, and created for many people a comfort zone when I ran for the presidency uh, in 84 and 88. Jesse Jackson. And many others uh, thought it was either laughable or something to avoid. He came to our business meeting here in New York because he has this sense of the curious and a will to risk to make things better. And so aside from all of, of style uh, and his um, pizzazz, he is a serious person who is an effective builder of building for the builder of people. Last year he was a part of our workshop, of our panel workshop on what are the challenges and opportunities. And so this, a year later, Donald Trump, uh, for a few minutes, challenges and opportunities to embrace the underserved communities. Donald Trump. Only president give money to HBCUs. Well, it is an honor to be here. Oh, and, uh, I was with Jesse president. last year, and we had a lot of fun, and it was a little different. Jesse started off by saying, most of the wealth in this country is in the hands of a few. And I thought to myself, is that a bad thing? <laughs> That's, what's wrong with that, Jesse? But he did have an expression last year. And I loved, I was just telling Roger. He had an expression last year, the wall on wall must fall. And you haven't used it today, and I'm very disappointed in this, Jesse, because I thought it was a great expression. And I heard the expression about 14 times, and then he came to me at the end of the session, and he said, listen, I want some office space in your building on Wall Street, because the wall on wall will fall. <laughs> and I said, it's okay, Jesse, I'll make a good deal with you. I'll get you some space. You'll pay about $40 a foot. And he said, no, no, no. I don't want to pay 40. I said, how about 30? No. It was the cheapest deal I ever made in the history of 40 Wall Street. Is that right? <laughs> he got it for nothing. <laughs> he was a very tough him. negotiator. We know that, right? Nah, he's a terrific guy. We love him, and I'm here for him. And the snow came, and I said, gee, nobody's going to show up, and look at this place, it's packed. Well, i just say a few words. I mean, Wall Street and New York City and this whole region is doing unbelievably well. Uh, I'm building a job on the west side, which is the largest job ever approved by the New York City Planning Commission. You see it going up along the west side highway. It's almost 10 million square feet. It's 18 buildings, and it's really going to be something. I will tell you, a large percentage of the people, and especially in construction, that are building these great jobs are black and minorities, and I'm very proud of it. We have uh, close to 25 percent, and I think the number's going up. And mm. they do a great job. There are no better builders than we have in New York, and a big percentage of that is black and minority folks. So I just want to thank everybody in the room for being here. I look forward to some questions, and then I don't know how we're ever going to leave this building today, because if you look outside, it is terrible. But we'll figure a way. There's always a way. And thank you, and thank you, Jesse, and congratulations. No. You want to know something very good? This is the man they say is a white supremacist. I ain't gonna lie, when he said at the end, somebody would say, that was racist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody they would've took it as racist. That's racist! But he, wanted black, he wanted black people and minority people you know, working on something. That's racist! He wanted to people, give black people jobs. That's people racist. People nitpick, That's people racist. People nitpick everything. People nitpick in today's society. They nitpick and pick and choose and move the goalposts and do whatever they can to make their argument on any scenario fit their narrative. A little bit off topic. I, when I was looking at this name, I was a little messed up. Rainbow push correlation. Y'all know what that is? Hell no. <laughs>
I think it's uh the name of Jesse's Civil Rights Organization. I was like, why would he name it Rainbow Push? <laughs> like, he, he probably was, he probably had a little sugar in his tank. I, I don't think that was a thing back then. What? This was 1989. What? What wasn't a the thing? They was talking about getting this land. He's, I don't know. I seen the video in the 1960 in New York. They was trying to get. They was trying did, to get. Did there. they have rainbows? A shadow senator. I didn't know they had a oh. shadow senator. Jesse was a shadow senator in Chicago. Well, well, Jesse, well, what what Jesse got some credentials. What, is, what man. does shadow mean? I, don't I didn't know. know Jesse was involved in a lot, but I, I I I see a lot of people say, "Oh, that's Al Sharpton." Yeah, at first I thought Jesse was a uh, Michael little brother at first. I did too. <laughs> actually, bro, that's actually smart as hell. So Trump had this big ass building, and he was renting out to people on Wall Street, and he was going. Up. Well, that's you like, got you got to rent office space, so that yeah. makes sense. If he and owns let the building, for he's the just low. leasing out office for space free. to people. Jesse. So he let somebody, he let a he black businessman, it wasn't for free. He let a black businessman give him a great deal on on something to help his business, a space. Then in the process of that, he gave all these people jobs, and nobody called Trump racist until he ran for president. And one side pushed that narrative to hurt his vote. Yeah, they said, "Yo, this is going a little too far. He might change the world." And you ask me, I think he, he, he not the I world, but the United to. States. He's changing a lot of stuff. He's trying to put lie. money in people's pockets. I don't see what's the problem in that. Joe hit the last Hail Mary with canceling them, uh, them loans the other day, yesterday. Who? Oh, wow. Yeah, that was actually insane. I see Joe. That. Joe did cancel a lot of people. He said, loans. oh, maybe this will get him. Yeah, he did. No, uh, uh, he actually, um, so what he did was he canceled the loans of like 155,000 people. It was like a couple trillion dollars. And then everybody who's uh, enrolled in his SAVE Act, but I believe was eligible, but I believe the ones who were eligible for the last one he just did, I think you had to have borrowed less than $15,000. So I think, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think that was a bad deal. I mean, Definitely wasn't. I mean, a lot of people, mm -hmm. no, we're not a, lot saying people it's a, bad deal. A, a lot of people are finding ways to complain, but you guys got to realize we're sending billions of dollars to Israel, Ukraine, and illegals. So why are we bitching and complaining about no, I think he just doing did something that benefits vote. the American people? Oh, for sure. But, but the one thing I will say that I, Joe Biden- We can't Biden, have that help people. I don't want nobody to vote for that man. <laughs> if you vote- off. I don't think that's gonna say. I don't. I don't think that's gonna save that's him. But he gave the, me the, money, so the, I'm on. The know. one thing that I think he did do good on was his save act. I think that's one thing I do agree with him on. That's not what, a bad what was plan. That about? So, but basically, what that is is if uh uh. So if you have crazy student loan payment, it's uh normally supposed to be paid back the quickest way. Uh, they do those loan services is they try to make it pay back over ten years. So a lot of people have a crippling payment, so they're paying like four hundred dollars a month. So what he did was he the save act stretches your payment from that ten year period to a mm. twenty year period. So people okay. went from paying like two, three hundred dollars to paying like forty, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars a month. Yeah, but this they gonna have to still so, make their so, payment though. So, no, you still gonna have to make that payment, <laughs> but it's over twenty years. No, it's, yeah, it's way more manageable. Though. So yeah, to me, when I when I read that, I'm like, okay, this is not bad. So it's now, now I, I I think the first thing he did were uh, people who were in that. I think the first th wave of student loans he like canceled was people who've been paying back for twenty years and they haven't been able to pay it. So he just canceled it altogether. And then now he did the people that are in enrolled in the SAVE Act mm -hmm. and like if you have less if you borrowed less than 15k which is only like 100,000 people 150,000 people theirs got deleted and I know a lot of people always get mad at me for saying I support that but you gotta realize we got money going out everywhere if it's gonna support people in the red white and blue I'm not mad at that y'all can bitch and complain to me you want I'm standing on what I said and with all of that wealth uh, Trump wants a free ticket to the affair tonight <laughs> We gotta stop thinking with 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 what everybody else is going with. Think for yourself. Emotional in all situations. Uh, you know, I think I think a lot of people are are, are lost on the. Uh, they let these media narratives uh, control the way they're thinking. They got this victim mindset. They think people who are minorities are victims, and I just disagree, man. I don't think that Trump is a racist. Maybe he's said some crazy stuff in the past, but but what did he say? This I, racist. I, I would though. say a lot of politicians I have said crazy stuff. So he said. What did he say? This he racist. said a lot of the. He said the illegal immigrants are poisoning the blood of our country. Country. Don't disagree with that. So he that's said not that racist, okay. he said that they're they're not sending their best. They're sending their worst. They're sending their criminals. He said they're they're that. coming from <laughs> shithole countries. That's he not said racist. you know he said a lot of things like that were negative to immigrants. And you know people are gonna bitch and complain. Then you know his first. Uh, so what did he uh, say that's acts like to you though? As, this is a racist thing. Has, did, had, what does he say? Not to me. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I don't know. Why no, no, I, I just want to know actually because I used to think racist. Racist. I'm just going off what I'm gonna keep it hundred. The only thing I remember in my life seeing that he said is specifically. And be like, okay, that was, was whenever he told LeBron shut up and drove, but that was just because I love LeBron. Yeah, no. So he uh, maybe he LeBron. Said, did he said, uh, well, he was <laughs> he, he, he was saying that. Uh, <laughs> 
He has said that, uh, that, you know, they try to use that he denied people uh, uh, in his buildings. But, you know, I think there's, I got to see some context behind that, you know. I, I, I'm not taking yeah, like, that. Uh, yeah, come I'm on I'm not now. taking that at face he didn't value. Let, he's, you're a nigga, yeah, you're not coming in. Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, apparently it was racist, but uh, top comments, I'm a black man watching this trying to figure out what did he say was racist. <laughs> <laughs> top so, comment. Uh, you know, you know, that's all I need to see, man. I, a bunch I don't of snowflake see anything, ass man. Shit. I can't lie. I think the only one that everybody really tried to drag on was the the kid. About the, the kids in the park. Which one was that? Yeah, I remember about the the kids that got. You don't remember that? The movie? park. Oh, five, Central the Park five. five. Okay, okay, okay. That's the only one. So, time, so, but so I can on see that, why. On that, on What'd that, say, on that. No, he wrote an article saying that they need to uh, 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 give them the death penalty, but Ooh. or so, some crazy, some crazy. But oh, that was okay. a long time ago. Okay, yeah. yes, that but was the Central know. Park well, five. But we got to realize something. At the time, he didn't know. When you when you going off news articles and you got people, they saying these people did some heinous. Yeah. And you ain't got no other facts. That's Obviously, true. as 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 a, as a leader in the community, as he was in New York, and someone who's like a prominent figure. I mean, uh, you know, that, I mean, if, if he's gonna use that to like try to speak against someone who who's accused of hitting right a heinous crime, yes. Did he not apologize for that? No. But I mean, uh, I mean at, the time, at the time, at the time, out of context, that's why the news out of context, it's if, so if, 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 if you know, when when people are accused of doing something bad and they're uh, off face value, people are gonna attack those people. Are they gonna come? out and retract those comments not as likely so i'm not gonna i'm not yeah, gonna hold that against him do i think it was harmful sure but i mean uh it was intended to be because at the time nobody he didn't knew. know nobody and they knew. were being painted as criminals they so. didn't know until about maybe what a couple years ago yeah so so what, what yeah, was that's, he supposed yeah, to say that's crazy, come yeah. on understand hey, hey i didn't hey. think about 20 like years that. ago i said Come on now, but it's funny that Joe Biden got something on YouTube. Donald Trump is the most racist president in modern history. And people gonna take Joe that Biden. You have a combination, buddy. Of racist Trump stuff. doesn't have he one. Said, Joe Biden is damn directly, predators. Joe Biden is directly <laughs> responsible for mass incarceration. All right, let but us know. Joe nobody, let's keep it nobody, nobody, nobody ever talks about that though. But at that time, was he wrong? What? Yes, for the Joe weed. Biden? But the weed, that's it. We but, already discussed this, but we already discussed this. It was about crack. About crack. Was no, he I, wrong? I, I don't no, know. crack <laughs> is worse than coke. We already discussed this, though, guys. Let's know what y'all think about Jesse Jackson and Donald Trump on this one.